Hi, welcome to our pre-calculus. Uh, topic today is proving an identity using fundamental trigonometric identities, problem type 2. So uh, here is a question, uh, sine squared of x times 1 plus cotangent squared is equal to 1. You want to show this identity. So the question is what to do next. So we said here the idea is to use 1 rule at a time and uh, uh, take some steps to see if we can arrive at the proof. <clears throat> uh, what rules are there? Uh, well, we have algebra, reciprocal, quotient, Pythagorean, and odd even rules. Which one of these do we want to use? So for example, here we see the squares that reminds us of Pythagorean. Now, there are uh, uh, three types of Pythagorean. Which one of them is meant and which one do you want to use? So, for example, we have sine squared plus cosine squared equal to 1. That can be used to replace sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared. Or we can replace 1 plus cotangent squared with cosecant square. Which one should we try? <clears throat> well, proving identity is somewhat like playing game of chess. That you have to see a step ahead of you to, 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 to have a successful run. But at any rate, try uh, whatever comes to your mind, try to see where it goes. Of course, it would be a lot easier to do this thing on paper as opposed to uh, interactively answer that here. So my idea is to use 1 plus cotan squared equal to cosecant squared because then I remember that a sine and cosecant are inverses of each other and I can achieve this one. So that's the reason I choose Pythagorean as the first uh, attempt. So well still we have to go ahead and say oh, Pythagorean and out comes what? So sine uh, square of x square step forward and then <clears throat> 1 plus cotangent square we said that is cosecant uh, square of x. So that's a Pythagorean and then we validate what we have now we apply another rule that uh, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So I can apply uh, that uh, this is same as sine square of x times uh, 1 over sine square of x. So at every step, let's see, this was supposed to be 2 and this is x. And then we close the parentheses. So what did we do? We applied the reciprocal. Uh, we validate, are we correct? And then, well, sine squared and 1 over sine squared we can just apply algebra here to say that uh, those two cancel each other out and uh, I get 1 and then it says your proof is complete or uh, you can check and it looks like we are on the right track. Well let's try another one This looks like just what we did. Uh, let's try another one. Hmm. Again, we got the same thing. Okay, this is slightly different, not all that different. So uh, we write this thing as cosine square of x, 1 plus tan square. What is that? By uh, Pythagorean identity that is uh, secant square. So we write secant square of uh, x, 
select the rule well is that the Pythagorean uh, check it at the intermediate stage now again one item at a time the fact that cosine times secant is one is not listed there in that fashion so we are kind of uh, pu pushed in doing an extra step of one over cosine square of x you use the right arrow button to <coughs> move to next place so that is we have to select the rule and that is cosine is a reciprocal of secant so that is what we did here and this is one by the fact that these two cancel each other and that is just uh, uh, using al algebra and we have uh, arrived at our answer so we can check and and so on uh, so this one uh, secant squared minus one times uh, cosine square is equal to one and uh, once again secant square minus one we can uh, apply In the, from the Pythagorean identities, what is secant squared minus 1? <coughs> secant squared minus 1, that can be applied to get you tangent square. So here, secant squared minus 1, uh, another form of writing this is that secant squared minus 1 is tangent square. So I can write it as tangent. And then I can say tangent is same as uh, sine over cosine and then cancel the cosines and then arrive at the sine so that's we have a plan in mind again it's best to write it on paper and then come and try it here so we uh, applied uh, Pythagorean and instead of that uh, we wrote tan square of x times cosine square of x x is supposed to be down here uh, step one and then instead of tan squared we can write uh, sine over cosine of course we could have written tan times cosine is equal to sine as, as one of our basic identities but again we are here limited to what the software makes available to us so what what rule do we have we have uh, in the quotient identities uh, we have tangent is sine over cosine and that's what I'm going to use here so I'm going to use uh, here sine sine square of x over well, no um, So it took. Uh, so we use the quotient identities to say that this is uh, same as this. Let's see if this will be okay with the software. Let's see. And then we apply algebra here to cancel. Uh, so I'll have sine square of x, and now we are just doing algebra to cancel cosine, and then it should be okay. So like let's try something else I think we saw this uh, okay 
1 minus cosine squared times cotangent uh, of x is sine x cosine x. So again, uh, a variety of choices available. Perhaps the easiest one is to start with 1 minus cosine, uh, cosine squared of x. What is that by Pythagorean identity? That is just sine square of x that's equal to 1 minus cosine square and then we are multiplying with cotangent of x. So what rule did we apply? We applied the uh, Pythagorean and then we check. <clears throat> now instead of cotangent I can write the ratio of cosine over sine. So that means I have sine square of x and then cotangent is cosine of x divided by, let's see, well it, uh, I guess I would have been smarter if I had used a palette on the right, but let's see cosine of x divided by uh, sine of x. So what uh, identity did I use here? Instead of cotangent I wrote cosine over sine and that is uh, quotient identity. So we check this. Okay, next we need to simplify sine over sine squared over sine which is just sine of x times cosine of x. What did I do? I just did a bit of algebra to clean this up and uh, that is where we are supposed to be and so on. So <clears throat> uh, some of my steps I think I would have been uh, a little bit faster if I had used uh, the palette on the right but you can also type. Okay. So the problems in this section are also straightforward. Again, a strong recommendation, do on paper, then come back here and type your answers. Until next time, good luck and God bless.